a lot of rain, hailstorm, some delicious harvests, and a lot more in today's episode of California Gardening. In today's video, we will take a garden tour, look at the harvest we made this month, we look at the weather in Southern California, and then we will see the things to do this month in your garden. So let's start with the garden tour. It's been a wet, rainy month this year, and let's look at the beds. We have some red acre cabbage growing in this first bed, followed by some spinach that was growing since the last month. We did harvest some of the spinach from this bed this month. And then moving on to our onions. These are the large yellow onions that we are growing in this raised bed. And so far it seems to be growing pretty well. Now let's move on to our side bed. In our side bed, we have the cabbage plants growing. This is the 45 day cabbage plant. And right next to that, we have the Lacinto kale. If you saw my episode on growing kale, you might have seen the kale variety. Some more brassicas. We have the broccoli, the gypsy hybrid broccoli that's growing pretty well now. They've produced some nice leaves and they've started to flower now. This is the hyacinth bean plant that had been growing and so far it's been growing well. Followed by more brassicas, some cabbages and cauliflowers growing in this bed. And now moving on to the container. If you remember, we had radish greens growing in this container. Now we have some cauliflower plants. And this is the next bed which has some onions some cabbages as well growing in the same bed. And then moving on to our final bed, we have the eggplants. These are the eggplants I was trying to overwinter. As you can see here, they're not doing very good after the hailstorm we had this month. I hope as the weather warms up, these plants will continue to grow well. And that concludes the tour of the garden. Now let's look at the harvest we made this month. Starting with avocados. This gem avocado tree grew a lot larger than we expected. So it will be pruned sometime the end of this month or maybe early next month. And it did produce some good avocados. Here you can see that the gem avocado is really beautiful looking. Great avocados. One of the avocado varieties that I recommend that you can grow in your home garden. Moving on to our purple cauliflower, as you can see here, beautiful looking, striking colors for this purple cauliflower. And you saw me harvest some of these cauliflowers last month as well. And we continue to harvest these cauliflowers even in January. Now, as I mentioned in my previous video as well, the colors on your vegetables depict a lot of vitamins and minerals anthocyanins that are present in the vegetables. So try to eat a lot of vegetables which have a lot of color in them, different colored vegetables, green, purple, yellow, orange, you can get a lot of different colored vegetables. And if you incorporate a variety of vegetables in your diet, it's really good for your health. As you can see here, this is a great looking cauliflower, medium sized heads, medium to large, I would say. This is a smaller one and when you're growing cauliflowers at home, don't worry if you get smaller sized heads. It's okay to have some cauliflower heads that are large, some medium and even some small. This is another plant that we were growing in the raised bed. And as you can see here, this plant has also produced a beautiful cauliflower. So all in all, it's a great cauliflower variety to grow in your home garden. And let's look at a cauliflower recipe here. This recipe is a cauliflower and potato recipe and it's a very easy recipe that you can try in your home. So I'm going to go ahead and share this recipe with you. Hope you enjoy it. We also harvested some cilantro, 
which is a cool season herb that you can easily grow in your home garden. And cilantro is something we use a lot and you might have seen this from my previous videos. We try to grow a lot of cilantro. And moving on to eggplants. Now January was the final harvest of the eggplants that we got. And if you have followed my videos on growing this eggplant variety, you might have seen that we started harvesting this plant a long time ago. So it's yielded a very nice long growing season. And once again, one of our heavy producers in our garden is the hyacinth beans. And one of the users had commented that this bean cannot be eaten raw. And that is absolutely correct. Hyacinth beans should never be eaten raw. This is not a type of bean that you can just pluck from your plant and eat. It has to be cooked. And once it is cooked, it is perfectly safe. I've been eating hyacinth beans for many, many years now. And it's a delicious bean variety. Just make sure you cook it well before eating it. And then moving on to the oranges. We had some Washington Naval oranges. As you might already know, we have been growing this for a while now. And this year we did not get a huge harvest from this plant. But nonetheless, you can see here we harvested about around 7 to 8 oranges, I believe, from this tree this year. And they are beautiful looking oranges. They are excellent tasting and a great variety to grow at home. Now coming to the hot peppers harvest. We harvested a lot of cayenne pepper. Again, January is probably the last month you will be harvesting peppers. It does get very cold in January and February, at least here in Southern California. And the pepper production slows down. But I'm hoping to get some more peppers out of at least one of my plants. And as you can see here, there are these two pepper varieties, the Indian hot pepper and the dragon cayenne. Both of them produced a lot of peppers in January. So I was happy to get some hot peppers in January and that's a good harvest. Moving on to our radish plants. We grew these radish plants in our whiskey barrel container and these are the large daikon variety of radish that we planted in this whiskey barrel container. And as you can see here, these are huge radishes. Radish is one plant that loves cool weather. So planting it in fall or winters, you can get a very good harvest from your radish plants. And remember that there are different types of radish that you can grow. This variety grows very well in the cooler season. The smaller radish variety can also be grown almost around the year. But these large rooted radish are best to grow in the cold fall or winter season. And as you can see here, beautiful looking harvest. This is an excellent radish variety to grow, the Minoways or the Japanese radish. And now moving on to radish greens. We have been growing this radish in our raised bed since a month now, more than a month. And they are producing excellent radish greens. The roots are not so large as you can see here. We did have a hot spell in December, a few hot days and the radish bolted. But I was anyway planning to use the radish greens anyways. So we got a good harvest of these radish greens. And if you remember my previous monthly episode, I was also growing these radish plants for their greens in this whiskey barrel container. And we deliberately grew it close to each other so that we can harvest them for their greens. And radish greens are excellent tasting. You can use them cooked with uh, just like kale or spinach leaves and they taste excellent. And I've posted some of my radish greens recipe in my earlier videos so do remember to check them out. And moving on to the spinach harvest. We did harvest a lot of spinach this month. This month in fact was one of our best months to harvest spinach. We planted them in fall and here they are ready for harvest. This is a very nice tasting variety of spinach. As you can see here, beautiful looking 
spinach. And here's the harvest, looks very nice, very pretty, delicious tasting spinach. Now if you're planning to grow spinach in your home, just make sure you grow it in the cooler season. Even early spring is okay to grow spinach. And now coming to the sweet potato bed. If you have seen my previous monthly videos, you'll remember that this was a neglected bed. I didn't really do much in this bed. And the sweet potato plants have been growing for a while here. And I was planning to let them grow for a while longer, but I was running out of space to plant my winter plants. So I decided to go ahead and harvest these sweet potatoes. And as you can see here, they are beautiful looking sweet potatoes. We did get a decently sized harvest from this raised bed. If I had let these sweet potatoes grow for a longer time, they would have yielded even larger and more quantity of sweet potatoes. But I'm pretty happy with my harvest. I was able to harvest just a few of them though. The Dancy Tangerines. We were able to get a lot of fruits this year and you've been seeing my monthly videos in the previous month as well. This tree was loaded with fruits and we harvested a lot of tangerines. We ate a lot of them, very sweet, very delicious tangerines. Our neighbors and friends also got a nice share of these tangerines. And here you can see that when we pruned the plant a little bit, we had to harvest entire branches. And that's a lot of tangerines you see here. And then moving on to green tomatoes. Now at the end of January, the weather had cooled down so much that the tomato plant was dying. So I thought it might be a good idea to harvest these tomatoes. And these tomatoes would not ripen on the vine because the temperatures are just too low for the tomatoes to ripen. So what I did was I harvested all these green tomatoes and now I'm sure a lot of you might be wondering what am I going to do with these green tomatoes? Well, either you can ripen them on the shelf if it's possible or just make a delicious recipe with green tomatoes. And here is the dish that I made with our green tomatoes. It was an excellent tasting dish. I will be sharing the recipe for this dish right here so that you can try it out. Now let's look at the weather. I wanted to show you some clips of how the weather was in Southern California. We had a lot of rain. We did have hailstorms as well. And after the hail that we got, I walked through the garden and as you can see here, this doesn't look like Southern California at all. A lot of ice in all our containers, all over the ground, all around our raised beds as well. And I just hope the plants survive this hailstorm and you know they just come out growing just like they were. And so far they've been okay. And now let's look at the things to do in your garden this month. So we'll be preparing our raised beds. This was the bed where we harvested our sweet potatoes from. So as you can see here I'm adding some organic fertilizer. This is the Dr. Earth organic fertilizer. And it's a great brand, it's a great fertilizer, it's organic and I'll provide a link to this fertilizer in the video description so you can buy one for yourself. And what I'm basically doing is sprinkling it all over the raised bed and then I'll be mixing it into the soil. Now I keep doing this on a regular basis. Remember that the organic fertilizers, they take time to break down. So you need to add organic fertilizers to your bed on a regular basis every few months whenever you prepare the beds and then while you're doing that just remove all the roots and stones or anything else that you can find in your raised bed so that the roots have a lot of space to grow and we are transplanting some garlic seedlings here now this is a good time to start garlic and onions if you haven't already started them in your garden they will grow through the cooler spring months. And some more brassicas, cabbages here you can see. 
you have seen these in the introductory video the garden tour we had a lot of cabbage plants in this bed so it's a good time to start your cabbage and cauliflower plants this time if you haven't already started growing them so that's pretty much what you can do in your garden during the month of january you can plant your cool season crops that will grow through early spring late winter and then also start your plants in your containers if you want to and other than that you can start pruning your fruit trees this is the stage when most fruit trees are dormant so you might want to use this opportunity to prune your fruit trees so that they grow well once spring comes in so there we have it folks that was our episode on the monthly gardening series for january of 2017 if you like this series do give us a thumbs up If you want me to make any changes to this monthly series do let me know in the comments below and we'll see you again soon happy gardening